Welcome back to Car Cup, a soccer review, anime review, ep part 11. This one will cover episodes 52 to 58. Yeah, I had to start and start up with this video because I kind of had to figure out what I was going to talk about. So, yeah. Now, basically, unlike the last few videos, I've covered like five episodes, last couple. This one I'm only covering, this one I'm covering at least seven. The reason why for this, because I didn't get a chance to do a video of it yesterday, so, yep, so, so let's talk about these episodes. Now, there's 52, which is Trouble Park. Trouble at the Park. Yeah, not much to this episode. It's like, okay, the, the characters encounter some strange things in the park. They, you have soccer going into a hole, which is, like, formed because the, the Emperor Penguin side was moved. So, she goes in the hole... Oh yeah, in the whole in the beginning of the episode, they're reading a book about sheep. Okay. Oh yeah, and Sakura's getting very sleepy. Well, it's getting also in class. And when she falls in the hole later, is a tie into that, basically, yeah, she kind of sees sleep. Sheep. Okay, so how do you get rid of it? Okay. Is she going to use water? Nope. Fire. Nope. The erase card. Yep. Use the race card, then use this flag out of there and that's the episode. It's pretty much like almost a nothing episode. Mm -hmm. 53, running out of time. Yeah. Sakura notices that the cloud cards are getting cold. They used to be nice and warm, but now they're cold. So she basically does something really stupid. Transforms several of them into Sakura cards for absolutely no reason at all. Does it to like several of them. Lock... Like, the last one she does do was Dash. Dash goes freaking nuts. Take possession of Toya's bike, which, at the beginning of the episode, Ariel stopped by at Sakura's house to basically give her something and, of course, help her basically sweep up the freaking lawn of leaves. Okay? Yep. This episode itself was a little better than the previous one, where it was almost like a nothing episode. This episode did feel like it was getting some development through, and she did vow to turn definitely all the cloud cards into cloud cards, but has a good reason for it. Yep, that's simply the episode itself. Mm -hmm. Calendar of Memories. By far the second time in the series where we don't have any major action. Basically, the return of Sakura's great grandfather. Yeah, he returns this episode. Yep, the story of this episode is this. Is that, well, Sakura basically made breakfast for her father and brother. Pancakes, okay. She goes up to the toilet, breakfast is ready. And then goes visit her father, who's got an old calendar that belonged to her late mother. And she find, looks through his calendar. She sees her birthday. Sees Toya's birthday. Tomoyo's mother's birthday, because, well, why not? And she also sees a birthday for her great-grandfather. Who, by the way, is still very alive. Sakura's so previous mother, she doesn't know this is a great grandfather. So he prepares for him a present, flowers and a few other thing. And basically, see, so Sakura asks her father, but yeah, he gives her flowers like almost every year. So she, like, Sakura talks to Kiro about using the flower card to make flowers. Kiro has no problem with this at all, doing this basically for because this is a good reason to do it. Mm -hmm. So Sakura basically asks her father to make sure he gets get to her great grandfather. Which basically is the old man who was introduced in the first season of the show with the summer house. So basically, her father contacts Tomoyo's mother, basically, who's upset by getting caught up this particularly early, but she'll do it for Sakura because she treats her like her own daughter. She treats her like, 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 like a daughter to her. She's like a daughter to her. It's not like she has her own daughter, she doesn't ignore her at all, but yeah. Takes great grandfather, and he ha he loves it. He really does. Then he asks to speak to Sakura's father, which, uh, and here's the thing. Apparently, it's real in this episode, Sakura's father has not spoken to this man since he gave him the invitation to their wedding. That was the last thing these two ever spoke. Yeah. And they talk for a little while. It's a good character moment for this episode. And, of course, he gives, basically, Toya and Sakura presents. He gives Sa no. We don't reveal exactly what he gave Toya. Sakura he gave her a, a, a dress that her late mother used to wear. Mhm. Mm yep. And he also he actually did, does appreciate the the birthday press. He really appreciated that. This overall was a great episode and a good character piece for Sakura. Sakura 
her family. Mm -hmm. Next up, Sakura and Wonderland. Ooh, this was a fun one. Yeah, basically talks to Era about how she enjoys reading the book Wonderland. He read the book like years prior. He was a little bit younger. So basically, there's her bookmark, a leaf. Those leaves was later read for magical. So she basically puts a bookmark in the book and she, and she gets pulled directly into the damn book. Mm hmm. Yeah, she gets pulled into the book, and she meets, like, the various characters show as the characters. We see the Cheshire Cat is actually Ariel, and then we see the White Rabbit, who's actually Yukito, and you. Because why not? And then we run into the Mad Hatter, who is her brother. Yep. Who was who drugs her. Because she remembers from the story, Mad Hatter is known for drugging people. Yep. So he goes, he goes really big. Then she goes small, and then she counters Lee as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. Yeah, so, and basically quizzes her, and then she goes goes to get, use the big little card there. Then she runs into Humpty Dumpty, who is Tomoyo. Oh yeah, and who's the Queen of Hearts? Kiro, a character who's a boy, is a girl. Okay, apparently he ends, she ends her up to, like, Kiro in his chess match. At least he wasn't saying off her head, off her head, because she's a bigger. Yeah, but then she's able to escape, and that's the episode. It's by far really funny. Yeah, it's by far a hilarious episode. And. It's definitely a good, peop good episode for your fans of Alice Wonderland. Next up, Spinning Out of Control. Yeah, this was an interesting episode. The cat, basically, who Ruby refers to as Spinny in his false form, takes, basically, apparently he can eat sweets, but he chooses not to. Though this episode reveals the reason why for that. Yeah, just bizarre. At the elementary school, but it just basically has tea and sweets. Okay. They have Kiro basically has the whole basket of sweets because he can. And he runs into Spinny, who just left in the middle of nowhere by Ruby in her false form. Who is the woman who keeps, like, clinging on to Toya for some reason. Yeah, it's never explained at this point why she does this. And basically, Kiro just makes friends with him and then he feeds him sweets. A whole boatload of them. And then, like, <laughs> then he goes nuts, eats up the rest of the sweets in his frickin' basket, and he eats all the sweets at the bazaar. Luck enough, he's finally stopped thanks to, well, thanks to soccer putting everybody to sleep, except probably for Lee and Toya, and Tomoyo, who probably is immune thanks to soccer being near the Sakura. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but this is a funny episode, but it's just absolutely hilarious. Next up, Lee's Calling. Ooh, this one. <laughs> this one is basically having Sakura and Lee trapped in an elevator. Because why not? Basically, you have Lee, Sakura, Tomoyo, and Ariel go to a teddy bear bazaar. Okay. And they just hang out for a bit, and well, why not? I mean, basically, Sakura, uh, the other, the other, the other one, the other, her three other friends, busy that day, so Tomoyo was invited because she's got nothing to do. And plus, she loves hanging out with Sakura, anyways. Ariel basically says he wants to come too, and then Lee comes, yeah, I'll come too. 
Okay. And at me a particular time, of course, they have this, still have this thing where Lee like, has his conflicting feelings for Sakura. Because, well, he's in love with her. Yep. I won't review what episode he reveals his feelings for her, but he does eventually do it. Yep. So, they they basically do a little teddy bear. So of course, they mention that he still has his teddy bear from the from the whole teddy bear attack of teddy bears to the from the, previously for this season. Which, by the way, in the clear card manga, he actually which stick with this series. Yeah, it's single thing with your. He still has that teddy bear. He still is never going to soccer for some reason. No idea why, despite the fact that in that series there. Well, I'm not going to go any further than that because, well, I will talk about that series when I get the clear card. So, they have Lee basically rushing out because of his feelings for Sakura. So, Sakura runs into the elevator and Lee and then Ariel just... And we see Ariel do this. Unlike in other episodes, we don't see him do anything. I mean, it's implied this is... This one he's blatantly doing in the episode. Though nobody's seeing him, not even Tomoyo. Okay. So, he just traps him in the elevator at one point. Sakura falls out of the elevator while being there. Actually, the thing is like stuck. So they run out. So basically, Lee uses flame, and Sakura uses like a piece of paper. Them saying they almost sit on the dirty floor in the elevator. Smart move. And they're there for a little while, and then all of a sudden the elevator tilts, and the, she gets knocked out. And of course, Lee calls for her name, and then she uses the the float card. Now, of course, he gives her a hug because he's happy to see she's all right. And then the elevator turns normal. And pretty much just like tomorrow's basic, everything's like back to normal. And the episode ends with Sakura calling Lee. This he called my name. We're gonna come very close now. Can I call you Shauru now? He says, Sure. <laughs> he calls him by his first name. This by the fact this entire series he's always heard by his last name. Overall, really good character episode for Lee, and he finally gets the woman he's in love with to call him by his first name. Mm-hmm. Now, last episode to talk about is Double Trouble. Yep, basically, we have Lee, Yukito, well, as you, you, you have Lee, Yu, Kiro, Sakura, and Tomoyo in a park, basically, hoping that Cloud rematch show. Doesn't, so they decided to go home, and of course, Sakura's soaked. Tomoyo and Lee are seen nowhere in this episode after this, for the most part. Yeah, this episode becomes pretty much a comedy episode. How? Pure and simple, really. It... <laughs> like, they have it where, where Kiro and you can't turn back to normal forms. So, they're stuck in their basic forms the whole episode. And they try... They kind of think that they had to basically sneak into the house. Now, you could get through the window, no problem. Apparently, Kiro had a problem. And then you was like... So this is the obvious question. Kiro, fold your freaking fold your wings. It's like, okay. He gets in, and it's something, though, you just, when he gets getting tired, so Kiro sleeps on the floor. Why not? He's a giant, he's a lion, so why not? And the way he sleeps, like any normal lion would sleep. And as for you, he just sleeps standing up in a way, just slouches back against the wall, like a wall where Sakura's toys are. And he just slouches right to sleep. So I go sleep in her bed anyways. And the next day, chore duty. So, <laughs> Kiro does the laundry like last in the series where Sakura had to spend the whole day doing chores. And of course, get a package. And then, <laughs> this is so funny. The boss bag is like, okay, you know, he keep you signing for it? Go, give me, let me get you my stamp. And then you see Kiro's, Kiro's like, here you go. He's like, thanks, stamp. Oh, this is, and the delivery man is like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> I thought this was so funny. It's like, here you go. <laughs> okay, it's so funny. Yeah, they reveal what's in this box later. What's in this box? A crab. Yep, a freaking crab. Though that's, the whole thing related to this is explainable later. Oh yeah, and what's you doing? Absolutely freaking nothing. He just stands around doing nothing. And Kira reveals some stuff about Clowry in this episode. Like, apparently, you could swim with everything. And then, like, Kiro basically takes the, the bag of flour, tries to throw it at you. Ends up getting it on himself. So he had to clean, get himself clean. 
Like, how am I going to clean? He says, okay, use the bubble card. Okay. And according to him, yeah, apparently Cloud reused the card a lot of the time to wash him and his clothes. Okay. And, and, and like, okay, leave me alone. I'll, and of course, he explains other things they use the bubble card for. And then so was like, okay, I'm going to go downstairs, clean up this little paw mess. And then somehow off screen, you just cleans it up, no problem. And after, of course, after Kira washed himself, then it's like, okay, let's use, like, okay, talk about shells. Like, okay, let's use the, the shield card, okay? Puts you in the shield card, and they transfer back to your, your real, your false forms. And apparently that works. Yep. This overall, and then of course, Yukio's like, what am I doing here? In your house, Sakura. And of course, they have dinner later, and then of course... <laughs> Toyo teases Sakura thinking that the food might be poisoned. <laughs> this is so funny, but this overall was a really funny episode. But out of all these episodes, the 52 is mostly a nothing episode, but the episodes that come right after that are so good. 53, a, a very important key episode for the series. 54, nice standalone episode, which is a follow-up to a previous episode. And, yeah, from 53 to 50 onward, it becomes a lot more interesting and not boring or whatever. It just becomes so interesting. So, so far for this whole season, 51 has so far been the weakest. 52 has been the weakest episode of the entire season. Yeah, the weakest episode. Which is something it's saying for a card capture soccer season 3. Yep, so, yeah. That's it for this particular review. I ha I'm going to do a comic corner next. And then before I do my next anime, I'm going to do a comic book history video. It, because of, because of the trade series I'm going to start reviewing soon. Okay? We'll see you next few. Bye.